The holidays are quickly approaching and it's gonna be dessert time. There's gonna be a lot of desserts out there tempting us. So today I wanna make a pumpkin mousse that is not only decadent and delicious and creamy and just, you know, indulgent, but it's also got some really good nutrition in it. So you can go ahead and splurge a little bit, but you can still enjoy a fantastic dessert. So here's how we're gonna be making this a little bit more nutrient dense. All right, we're gonna start by using Greek yogurt as part of our base, and that's gonna provide you with some live cultures, which is good for gut health. Not to mention there's a good amount of protein in yogurt. I'm gonna be using some coconut sugar in place of regular white sugar, and that's gonna help keep your blood sugar levels a little bit more stable. The other thing we're gonna be doing is using collagen peptides. Now this is gonna provide some protein to this dish in addition to that Greek yogurt, and it's gonna provide those amino acids that you know might be lacking or maybe you need a little boost with, and that's going to help with your nails and your hair and your skin and your bones. So I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm gonna show you how to make it right after my chef joke. Okay, here we go with chef joke number one. Why was Cinderella so bad at football? because she had a pumpkin as a coach. <laughs> okay, so this is a no-bake recipe, right? We're just gonna mix it up and put it in the refrigerator. So first up, we have our organic whole, whole milk Greek yogurt. Now this is gonna add about 16 grams of protein to this dish, not to mention the live cultures we talked about in the introduction. Now you can use low fat if you want, but this whole fat is gonna make this much more creamy and decadent. Our next ingredient is pumpkin. So I'm using canned pumpkin here. This is 100% pure pumpkin, and the only ingredient in it is pumpkin. So you don't want the one that has the spices in it already. This is just plain. So I'm gonna add one cup of that to our bowl. And don't forget, you can get the written recipe below the video in the description area. Next up goes in the coconut sugar. Now we're gonna get that protein in here by using Vital Proteins Collagen Peptides. Now I get mine at Costco. It's a great deal there. Now I'm gonna add two scoops of this, which is gonna give us about 20 grams of protein with all those amino acids. But you can use even three scoops if you want. It really has no effect on the flavor. Now here are the spices we're gonna be adding to the mousse. We have some nutmeg, ground ginger, ground cloves, and Ceylon cinnamon. Now, did you know there are two types of cinnamon? One is called Ceylon, which I'm using here, and there's another one called Cassia. Now, if you eat a lot of cinnamon, say over a teaspoon a day, then you're probably gonna wanna try using Ceylon instead of Cassia. Cassia cinnamon contains higher levels of coumarin, which can be toxic if you eat a lot of cinnamon. Just keep that in mind. Okay, so here goes our nutmeg. Now for the ginger and the cloves, I'm only gonna use a quarter teaspoon of each because they're both pretty powerful. And don't forget to check the dates on your spices because sometimes they get you know lost in the back of our cabinet and next thing you know, they're five or six years old. And so you wanna use fresh spices. And I'm gonna add a pinch of salt. So let's talk a little bit about our next ingredient, which is beef gelatin. Now, most of you are probably familiar with Knox gelatin and you use it in different recipes. And you can use it in this, it's fine, but I'm using one that is grass-fed here from Thrive Market. There are many benefits to eating gelatin and I'll leave a link in the description to an article that I think you might find interesting. So before I start mixing up my pumpkin mixture here, I've got to lay out my beef gelatin. So I have some water here, room temperature, it's like three tablespoons or so. I have a measuring spoon here of, of one teaspoon, and of course I have my gelatin, so I'm ready to go. And I got a little fork here that I'm gonna use to stir this up as soon as it's ready. Once this is mixed, that goes in, and then I can mix it together, and it, it will mix in nice and easy. The first time I used the grass-fed gelatin, I mixed it in the water, and it just got so firm so quickly that it was very difficult to mix in. That's why I'm showing you the setup so that you can mix it very quickly and it'll mix in very nicely. So add two and a quarter teaspoons of the gelatin powder to three tablespoons of room temperature water and mix it quickly. Once it's combined, then add it to the pumpkin mixture and blend it with the beaters. And make sure you scrape down the sides of the bowl so everything gets mixed well. 
Now we'll place this in the refrigerator to chill. It must be time for chef joke number two. Here we go. Who helped the mini pumpkin cross the road? The crossing gourd. All right, we're adding some organic heavy whipping cream here. And if you read the label, you see that it is just cream, which is what I like. Now here's an example at the store that I don't like. I don't like to see those extra ingredients. So we're gonna pour a cup of our heavy whipping cream into a bowl and we're gonna add some vanilla extract and a little bit of sugar and then we're gonna mix it up until it's nice and firm. It should take about two minutes on high speed. And be sure to stop before it turns into butter. Now we're just gonna pour this right into our pumpkin mixture and we're gonna fold it in. Now you wanna fold it gently so you don't deflate the whipping cream and it stays nice and fluffy. So you scoop from the center and then you just fold it right over nice and easy. Keep folding until all of the mixture is one color. Spoon the pumpkin mousse into serving dishes and then refrigerate it for at least a couple of hours. I ended up with seven servings. To serve this up, you can whip up some more whipping cream and put it in a piping bag, which is what I'm gonna show you right now. So I just added some vanilla extract, one teaspoon, and I added about a tablespoon of white sugar. Start on low and mix for about two minutes on high. Once the whipping cream is done, we're gonna set up our piping bag. Here I have a Wilton piping bag that's 12 inches, but really 16 would be better. So you place that insert into the plastic bag so you know where to cut off the tip. So I'm making my mark about halfway up that white piece there between the uh, threads and the end of it. Cut the tip off at your mark. Insert the white piece back into the, the bag and then put on your piping tip. Secure it on with the coupling. Now fold down the plastic bag a couple of inches and you're ready to stuff it. Now the dotted line here indicates how much filling you should put in it, or no more than that. Fill your bag with whipping cream. It's a little bit messy, but you can do it. Give the bag a twist and try not to squeeze it too hard like I did here. Oopsie daisy. Ah, we'll just put that right back in the bowl. And then pipe on a cute decoration. You can serve these as is, or you can top them with a little chopped pecans or walnuts, or even some cinnamon or nutmeg, whatever you like. This is gonna remind you of a delicious, creamy, decadent pumpkin pie. If you'd like to try another pumpkin recipe, you've gotta try my pumpkin cupcakes with maple cream cheese frosting. And guess what? It's gluten-free. Click the link and it'll take you right to the recipe. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, let me know by smashing the like button. And if you know someone who might enjoy this delicious recipe, share it with them. All right, we'll see you back here next week for another rockin' recipe.